Hi, my name is Cathy Andronicu, and today I'm going to show you how to use Design Memory Craft Faber Cassell Gelatos with embossing paste and a stencil to create a card design. To begin, you're going to need some Langton Prestige 100% cotton watercolour paper. Your Faber Cassell Gelatos, this is the mix and match 12 pack set, and some water. So I'm going to take my cotton candy gelato and I'm going to apply it to the centre of my card. I'm going to be quite generous with this. We want a nice deep colour. I'm then going to use my finger to blend the colour initially onto the paper. I'm then going to take the blueberry gelato and apply around the edge to give a darker shade. And again I'm going to start by blending that out with my finger. I just need to add some more because I haven't quite put enough down here. So once I've got that base colour down, I now want to mix those two colours in a bit more. So I'm going to use a drop of water colour, uh, a drop of water, and I'm just going to blend those two colours together a bit more. So now I'm happy with the two colours that I have there. I'm going to let that dry. So I'm going to use this spearmint gelato and I've got a mini mister here with a little drop of water in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some shavings and I'm just going to put, put a few of those shavings into my mini mister. I'm going to give that a good shake and that colour is going to dissolve into the water and give us a nice colour that we can then spray onto our card. So I'm going to have my flowers going in one corner here. So I'm just going to spray little droplets. And now I'm going to leave that to dry. You can also use the gelatos as a watercolour. So you can mix up some colour, so I'm just going to use a bit of the purple here and then you can just splatter. So now I've got my stencil and I'm going to place this onto my card and I'm just going to apply some masking tape to the edges just to hold it down and in place. Right, so now that our stencil is well tapped down we can now apply our embossing paste. I'm going to be using Ranger Texture Paste and this is a Dreamweaver stencil that I'm using and I'm just going to apply it really liberally. I'm not going to press down or anything at this stage. I just want to get the paste over the whole of the area. So now we're not going to press down, we're just going to pull across to remove that excess paste. And now this can just go straight back into the pot. So carefully remove the masking tape. So now that our um, paste is dry, we can pop our stencil back over the top and we'll be ready to colour the image. Now because I want to colour individual flowers, I'm going to mask off areas that I don't want to, to be exposed at this stage. Okay, so now I've masked off my area, I'm able to begin colouring. So I'm going to take my orange gelato and I'm going to hold down my stencil and I'm just going to colour directly onto my paste. And then I'm just going to rub that in. Now what you can also do is you can use some water. So I've now masked off the next area and I'm now going to do my next colour. So I'm going to do purple. I continue this process all the way up the flower until all the petals are coloured. So now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to use this Penny Black stamp set and VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. 
So I'm going to ink up my stamp and then stamp into the top left hand corner of my design. This is now ready to mount up onto the card. So I'm going to mount my image onto um, black card stock. So I'm going to use a perfect layers 1 16th of an inch edge to trim around the card. So I'm now mount this on my card base. And there is our finished design. Thanks for watching.